What up boys and welcome back to another video. So this weekend I was doing a 24 hour gold farming live stream and uh, well to be honest it was 22 hours. Uh, I like to look at it in a way where I was so damn efficient that I finished a 24 hour stream in just 22 hours. But uh, besides that there was a bunch of people who uh, dropped in and uh, a lot of them naturally couldn't stay for the entire stream. So I got a bunch of questions asking me if I could like do a recap on how much gold I made in 24 hours of gold farming. So I took all the items and sent them to a bank tune so I could easily uh, check out what I received in the 24 hours. Now I obviously got way more items than what you guys can see right here, but these are the items that's like worth keeping, right? So most of it's just vendor trash like it usually is when you do uh, when you do gold farming. So the goal of this 24 hour gold farm was not to make as much gold as I possibly could. Like if that was the deal, I would have done what I talk about in uh, this video right here, like the best way to get 5 million gold longbow. It would be completely different farms. Uh, so I would rather like focus on doing these old content, uh, high yielding gold per hour material farms. For instance, you know, the, uh, the goal was just to have fun, do a bunch of lacks and see if I got lucky on some of the farms. So keep that in mind when you see the total amount of gold, which I still think is going to be pretty good. I also made a list for you guys so you can see what farms I uh, I did. I had like I had like this bunch of different farms on a notepad, like solo farms and five man farms, and I wiped out the ones that I didn't get to do. So these farms right here are the ones that I did do. And we have uh, as far as solo farms, dungeons naturally. We got Sulfarak, LBRS, BFD, RFD, Monotombs, Ulderman. SM, Nomor, and Sunken Temple. Now, there's a lot of these dungeons that I did do where I got, like, nothing left to show for it. And that is normal when you do a dungeon on Transmog Farm. Like, sometimes the items that you do end up getting, they're just not good enough to put up on the auction house. Like, your RNG sucks ass. And for me, that was definitely the case for some of these, like, Sunken Temple. I don't think I have a single item from Sunken Temple in the bags. Uh, neither with Nomor, and I don't think I got anything to keep from SM either and monotombs is like I got a couple of primal shadow corium ore and a couple of like like recipes but no good like like epic recipes from the TBC and then we have the five man farms and uh, these uh, some of these are gar guaranteed gold like for instance primal life volatile fire volatile water uh, these uh, material farms such as wild wine too and then I also did a Saltstone Cave and Blackhoof Village and Wad Farm. The Wad Farm is just killing a lot of uh, like orcs and Talador. We just uh, do that farm because you kill a lot of orcs at the same time. And um, the only thing we're after is like Wad World Drop Epics. And then we did a couple of Battle Bets farms too, like the Dark Whelpling and the Black Tabby plus Oosling. I got a bunch of Dark Whelplings. I got two Ooslings, but sadly it didn't get the Black Tabby though. So now that we've taken a look at the farms that I did do, let's go through the items that I received while doing this. So I mentioned the Wad farm and the uh, the epics. So I got this ring. Obviously, the stats are insane on it. It's 40,000 gold of my realm, 0 0.18 sell rate. Like, it's obviously fake, right? However, what isn't fake is this. Like, this cloak, 42,000 gold, 0 0.05 sell rate. I showed it in, like, two weeks ago in my cleanup video where I actually sold a wad cloak for uh, close to 40,000 gold and there's been a bunch of people since we started like uh, sh shining some light on wad farms uh, that have done it as well and uh, gotten some really good sales so wad farms underestimated uh, you just gotta know how to filter out the absolute dog shit loot because there's a bunch of green items with super fake value and sell rate and then we also have the epics on top right here. So the uh, boomstick sucks. We've got the, uh, that's a blue item, not an epic. We've got the gut tripper, which is also bad. The custodian is bad. Brain hacker also sucks. I actually got double destiny in LBRS, like 10 runs of LBRS, two destinies. So that was kind of cool. In terms of green items, we have guardian blade, Wilfair harness from RFD. The excavator is brand. These used to be so good. Now it's 148 gold in my realm. It's an Alderman item. 
Monolithic bow, also an old demand only item. We got the tree bark jacket, which is uh, a BFD only item. Double onyx claymore as well. Really, really good. And then we got Axe of the Enforcer and uh, Ring of Precision, also BFD. The stylish slippers, uh, kind of bad. They're a wad item. We got the speed steel. They, uh, it is a good item, a 16,000 gold market value, but the, vo the values on my realm are completely dog shit. It has the lowest price uh, on average across the entire EU right now. So we got the robe of Magi as well. Nothing special. The shoveler from Ulderman. All these four items down here are uh, wad blue items. Then we did Wild Wine. The Wild Wine got me uh, a hatchling, a battle pet. Can also drop the parrot, which I didn't get. And 28 Wild Wines, which has a market value of 26,000 gold, plus the battle pet. And then the Purite Ore and Elementium Ore, together with these, uh, these three Volatiles right here, are from doing Volatile Water and Fire Farm. And having the potion of treasure finding on, which gives you ember silk cloth, raw gold, green items, chance of getting like any of the volatiles and uh, the two ore. So I did one hour of fire, one hour of water, and I was always the guy who got the least amount of volatile fire, like 926 volatile fire in one hour and 906 uh, volatile water. And the rest of my group got like a, a thousand plus. <laughs> that kind of sucked. I uh, did Dark Whelpling and I got seven Dark Whelplings, which is not bad. 9,000 gold market value, so uh, the gold per hour is really not bad on this one. And uh, you also get transform items, chance of getting like Robe of Insight and so on. Two Disgusting Ooslings. Uh, the D farm for Black Tabby plus Oosling, like you can drop two different battle pets, is a really cool farm. And you also have a chance of getting some transforming items like the Silver Tread Armor, Buccaneer's Vest and so on, which I didn't get. And uh, then we got some uh, random recipes right here. Like these, None of these are like really insane, but they tend to sell like the Shadowhood too. So uh, I decided to keep them. Then obviously the cloth, just, just sending this to my crafting tune and uh, making it into bolts. Then we have the green transom item. I'm not sure if I'm going to go too much into this. Obviously, some of these pieces are really good. Uh, some of them uh, aren't really that good. Like Soulstone Chest, 3,000 gold in my realm, 23k market value. So uh, I'm not sure if there's anything super interesting. I wasn't lucky enough to get like Glorious Lex or Jade Lex or anything like that. I did, however, get the first made at, which is 25,000 gold right now. It's a pretty cool one. It sells really fast. And then we did Primal Life for an hour, 116 Primal Life. So uh, Primal Life, since I made a video on it with the, the Hyper Spawn uh, Double Island, it's gone down in value by so much. It's insane. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty much it of what we did. Now keep in mind, when I show you guys the uh, TSM uh, macro on this one, it's going to show you the minimum buyout price on my realm. And I play an Arch and Dawn. And as you guys have seen, the prices are way, way, way lower on my realm than what the market value is. If I use the market value, the prices will be insanely high. So let's jump right into it. Click on the macro. And 579,000 gold of market value. So some of this is materials going to sell super fast. Some is transmog. And if we take uh, the farms that I did, which was uh, 18 farms that we got done in 22 hours. And if we take, uh, how much was it? 579,000 gold. Divided by 18, we have an average of 32,000 gold, which is as expected. So if I was going to try to make as much gold as I could per hour, it would have been probably like 35 to 40,000 gold an hour, but it would be stuff that would sell faster than uh, transmog items. So the, uh, the, well, the market value or minimum buyout value on my realm would be a bit higher. Not that much though. I it, I tend to get like 30,000 to 40,000 gold uh, on average on material farms. Sometimes it's way above it, but it just, it depends from day to day, like how much the uh, materials is priced on the auction house. So 
I'm uh, I'm happy with the, what I received. Of course, I wish that I would get an item that would sell for like 100k plus. I'd have a single item going for uh, even 50,000 gold. The closest is going to be the cloak. If I sell this one for 40,000 gold, like I did with the last one, uh, or the destinies, they usually sell for 40 to 50,000 gold in this realm. But like nothing close to 100k. And there was a lot of people who tuned in on the stream, and a lot of people got really good loot. So. I'm just hoping that I can do a 24-hour stream again or something similar and at that time I hope to crush it because all you need is like a Tibu and that alone is going to give you like 350,000 gold. It's going to change the whole thing around. But yeah, that was the recap for the 24-hour stream. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure to press that thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. It really helps out my channel and I will see all of you guys back in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.